The Alabama Farmers Federation and the Alabama Farmers Cooperative proudly present Simply Southern with Jim Allen and Mary Wilson. Hello and thanks for joining us for Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Jim Allen. For 40 years, the Alabama 4-H Center in Columbiana has been turning the state's youth into leaders. Today, we'll show you how they plan to expand that mission in the future. The first thing we decided we needed to do was expand dining and expand the kitchen. So after this phase, we do uh, want to build another dorm. When you hear the word museum, most folks think of seeing stuff you're not allowed to touch. But at the Cook Museum of Natural Science, prepare to get your hands dirty or wet in exhibits from around the world. Sydney Phelps of Bonnie Plants is in the kitchen today making something unusual. Instead of a tasty dish, he'll show you how your garden can make your house smell wonderful. But coming up next, we'll see how an isolated West Alabama community transformed a housewarming staple into a world-renowned work of art. What sustains us? Food? Family? Faith? Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. There's no such thing as downtime when you own a farm. This is your land. You tend it and try to get the most from it, no matter the weather or time of day. It's been that way for generations. And for generations, your local quality co-op store has been there for you. With a full range of agriculture supplies and services, from feed to fertilizer, seed to grain storage, and the right hardware for any application, you'll always find what you need. Plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. Down here in the Deep South, there's a good chance you've got an old family quilt tucked away somewhere. Through the generations, these three-layered handcrafts were usually a means to keep warm. But nowadays, you're just as likely to see one decorating a wall as covering a bed. And for the quilters in one small West Alabama community, those walls include some of the top art galleries in the world. You can catch a ferry out of Camden that will give you a nice view of the Alabama River. As nice as the scenery is, the ferry is also the easiest way to visit the small town of Boykin, Alabama. The town is more popularly known by the name G's Bend, named after the 19th century slaveholder who settled the area. But no matter what you call it, this isolated community doesn't exactly stand out as an art lover's destination. When you see a bus pull up, you don't ever know who's on that bus. We've had um, women from Russia, Spain, Australia, and they're doing the quilt tour. If you haven't heard of G's Bend Quilts, you're one of the few. They've been featured in art museums across the country including the Whitney in New York and the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. A significant part about the quilts now is uh, they tell us we are doing art. And I still don't know anything about art. <laughs> Mary Ann Petway is one of several ladies you might encounter on a visit to the G's Bend Quilters Collective, where you can see these one-of-a-kind pieces being made. What is so different about our quilts than anybody else's quilts? We sew three layers together just like they do. And rarely, to tell me, rarely you're gonna find somebody quilt and quilt by hand. And that's us. And all of our quilt is done by hand, quilting them. The bold colors and striking geometric patterns of many of these quilts definitely catch the eye. But it's the G's Bend story that ultimately brought them to the art world's attention. This was very much a make-do aesthetic. They used old work clothes, they used scraps of fabric. They never wasted anything, and that was very typical of the way that they lived their lives. A quilt is a very versatile thing. A quilt, can you can use it to cover up under. It can also be a door. If you pin it just right, uh, these old houses used to be really, really raggedy, and uh, no insulation, so 
In some instances, those quilts were on the walls and on the windows trying to keep some of the air out. During the civil rights struggles of the 60s, quilts began to be as much a source of income as warmth for African American women involved with the Freedom Quilting Bee. While many of these quilts would be exhibited in art museums nationwide, G's Ben quilts in particular rocketed to fame in the early 2000s through the effort of folk art historian and author William Arnett. I'm told uh, William Arnett, he was the, um, he's an art dealer. And he came down to uh, Anna Mae Young house. It was a book that he saw her quilt in on a picture. And when he found Anna Mae, she didn't know that she still had the quilt, but uh, when she looked for it, it was under one of her bed mattress. And so when she told him about us, then he came down to G's Den. And this is my saying, it blew up like a time bomb. The quilts that once insulated homes are now highly sought after art pieces and can fetch a pretty penny from collectors. This acclaim is a point of pride to the quilters of G's Bend, who enjoy this opportunity to share generations of tradition and a spirit of resiliency with visitors. The isolated nature of the place itself, the fact that these are African-American citizens who were living in poverty, who basically found a way to come together and make a better lives for them, life for themselves. I think most Alabamians especially can relate to the scarcity of resources and making maximum use of those resources. It feels good to have somebody tell you, oh, we saw that exhibition, oh, we loved it, we loved it. I never thought I was an artist. I never knew I grew up in an artist colony, you know? It doesn't feel like we should be famous. I always thought it was a different feel to it, but no, we're still just down here. <laughs> I can see why these quilts are so sought after, Jim. So if you take the ferry over from Camden, can you actually buy quilts there? You could go to the Quilting Collective and purchase one there. If you're interested in a visit, folks, our friends at Camden's Black Belt Treasures can help you plan a trip. Go to blackbelttreasures.com and navigate to the visit link at the top of the page for everything you need to know before you go. All right, so up next on Simply Southern, if you're looking for a fun, new, family-friendly activity, set your destination for the Cook Museum in Decatur. Wear long pants, long sleeve shirts, and closed-toed shoes. Don't be ticked. Use repellents with 20% DEET on skin and 0.5% permethrin on gear and clothing. Don't be ticked. Avoid sitting on rotten logs or stumps. Don't be ticked. Protect yourself from serious tick-borne illnesses and seek timely treatment to prevent long-term problems. No hunters were angered in the making of this film. Get discounts on national brands and at local businesses with your Alpha Farmers membership. Members save hundreds with Ford, John Deere, Case IH, and Caterpillar. Plus, enjoy special rates at Choice and Wyndham Hotels. Benefits include rewards at Office Depot, Priester's Pecans, tourism destinations, and more. Download the Alpha Perks app, visit alphafarmers.org perks, or stop by your local Alpha office and start saving today. Support healthy food from local farmers by purchasing a Farming Feeds Alabama license plate. The TAG funds education and promotion efforts, including Ag in the Classroom, Agricultural Scholarships, and Youth Programs. Get your Ag Tag today. Soybean is a very versatile product. We make crayons out of it. A lot of the combines you see rolling through the fields have a lot of plastic side panels that are made from a soy product. The soybeans that we grow on our farm mostly goes into chicken feed. Soybean production in Alabama employs over 10,000 people. We grow some of the best soybeans in the world. We go the extra mile to make sure when our name is stamped on it, we know it's the best product we can produce. Some of the best things in life start with a bundle. And some of them can actually save you money. Like when you bundle your auto and life insurance with Alpha. Protect what's important to you at a price you can afford. All for a better life. Alpha Insurance. All for a better life. 
Ask your local agent about Alpha's Auto Life Discount.